exciting times. It might be for her, but uh, I think she's got very different ideas about what's exciting. Hello again. Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. Um, it's described as a sharp, smart, witty, modern love story by David Nichols and very funny and really mean by Zadie Smith. Um, sorry. Um, I think Exciting Times for the people this is aimed at are very different to the exciting times for someone of my age. I think this is a book that is for the 20-somethings and not for someone of my age. It says here, meet the new Sally Rooney. I've never read any Sally Rooney books, so I can't comment on whether it is comparable. But for me, I just didn't find it exciting. We've got um, Ava, who's 22, she's from Dublin, and she's now living in Hong Kong and working as a TFL te teacher. And it is full of her, her, her musings. It's in first person and she is the first person narrator. And she is so self-absorbed. She dithers. She's almost got self-loathing. She can't decide what she's doing, what she wants to do. I, I just, I don't know. It, it just didn't do anything for me. Oops, sweet trumpers. Um, she starts living with Julian, who's a banker, and sleeping with him. And the relationship is not a loving relationship. It's a very strange sort of relationship. Then he disappears off to Frankfurt for a couple of, for a few months. Uh, and she forms a friendship with Edith, who's a lawyer. And it's described somewhere as a, a love triangle. Um, money, love, cynicism, unspoken feelings and unlikely connections, exciting times ensue. I kept waiting for the exciting times. I kept waiting for something to happen. The writing, I can't fault the writing. The repartee, the, the conversations between Julian and Ava, I can't fault those. They are very witty and they've both got a very sort of caustic sense of humour. So I can't fault that. It's just that uh, the characters were just nothing. I just didn't feel the characters at all. And maybe that's an age thing. Maybe I'm so far removed from 20-somethings that I, I'm not in that bubble anymore. I didn't feel anything for anybody in this book. Which isn't to say that you might, might not. I mean, you know, chances are that if you're watching this video, you're probably a lot younger than I am and you would take a lot from it. Um, it was actually long listed on the Women's Prize of Fiction 2021. And it's in this year's Good Housekeeping Women's Prize for Fiction Futures. She's one of the finalists in that. But for me, I'm sorry, it, it was it was disappointing. I I expected exciting times and I just didn't get them. So I will move on to my next book. I will try and find something that grabs me more than this one did. And I will see you next time. So happy reading. Take care. And bye.